Nemerdia is a phylum of invertebrate species, also known as ribbon worms. Most are very slim, usually only a few centimeters wide. Although only a few have relatively short bodies, many have patterns of yellow, orange, red and green coloration. The foregut, stomach and intestine run a little below the middle of the body. The anus is at the tip of the tail and the mouth is under the front. A little above the gut is the rhincicle, a cavity which mostly runs above the middle and ends a little short of the rear end of the body. All species have a proboscis which lies in the rhinicole when inactive but turns inside out to emerge just above the mouth and capture the animal's prey with a venom. A highly extendable muscle in the back of the rhinicole pulls the proboscis in when attack ends. A few species with stubby bodies have suckers at the front and back ends which they attach to a host. The brain is a ring of four gangula positioned around the rhinicole near its front end. At least a pair of ventricle nerves connect to the brain and run along the length of the body. Most ribbon worms have various semoreceptors and on their heads some species have a number of pigment cup ocelles. These ocelles can direct light but cannot form an image. They have at least two lateral vessels which are joined at the ends to form a loop. These in the rhinicycle are filled with fluid. There is no heat and the flow of fluid depends on the construction of muscles in the vessel and in the body wall. To filter out the waste products, flame cells are embedded in the front two parts of the lateral fluid vessel and removes the waste through a network of pipes to the outside. All ribbon worms move slowly to glide on the surface of a trail of slime, while larger species use muscular waves to crawl, and some swim. A few live in open oceans, while the rest find or make hidden places on the bottom. A dozen species inhabit fresh water, mainly in tropical and subtropical waters, and a dozen species live on land in cool damp places. Most ribbon worms are carnivores, feeding on clams and crustaceans. A few species are scavengers. They have very few predators. Two species are sold as fish bait. In most species, the sexes are separate, but all the freshwater species are hermaphroditic. The ribbon worm's eggs are generally fertilized externally. Some species shed them into the water and others protect their eggs in various ways. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and I will see you guys on the next one.